Clock dividers and step sequencers are two examples of tools that interact with trigger signals and allow us to do interesting things with timing and rhythm. In SuperCollider, these tools are called Pulse Divider and Stepper. So let's take a look at how they work and what they can sound like. So here I've got 15 pulses per second fed to Pulse Divider, which also takes a division value. Pulse Divider counts pulses, and when count equals div, it outputs a pulse of its own and resets the count to zero. These signals generate single sample impulses, which generally don't show up nicely on a plot, but we can use trig to extend them and make them more visible. As you can see, Pulse Divider gives one pulse for every two received. Multi-channel expansion lets us simultaneously view division by two, three, four, you get the idea. The start parameter offsets the initial count. It's essentially a phase control. Here's division by three with start values zero, one, and two. If start equals div minus one, as it does here at the bottom, Pulse Divider will generate a pulse right at the beginning. Pulse Divider is a good option for polyrhythms, like three against four. Now, even though the array is three comma four, we hear four pulses on the left and three on the right. It might seem like it should be the other way around, but these div values represent duration per pulse. In other words, a smaller number means more frequent pulses. So the rhythm we actually hear is the least common multiple divided by div. Now this means, for example, if we wanna hear three against four against five, the div array needs to be 20, 15, 12. My advice though, don't get distracted by the math. Instead, just throw numbers at it until it sounds good. For example, here div is the integers two through 20 used to divide pulses and also interpreted as scale degrees to generate pitch information. Here's a sampling example where pulse divider triggers and multi-channel expands play buff and start positions are derived by mapping div values across the length of the buffer. Definitely consider swapping the sample for a drum loop or something else inherently rhythmic. It can be a lot of fun to chop up something like that. But for now, let's move on to stepper, which also counts pulses, but outputs the count value itself, which repeatedly goes from min to max, in this case, zero to 15. Also, it can be a good idea to provide a one-time reset trigger, which forces stepper to start at its min value. Otherwise, the first clock pulse makes it start one higher. We'll pull to visualize step count and sonify each 16th note with white noise. To put a tone on each downbeat, we can gate the tone envelope with step less than one, uh, which of course is only true at the beginning of each cycle. This works because on the server, a conditional check is one if true, zero if false. If we modulo step count by half the cycle size, we get a blip on every half note. Subdividing again puts a blip on every quarter note. And suppose we want four blips, one on each of the first four 16th notes of the cycle. It might seem correct to gate with step less than four. This doesn't work because step less than four is consistently true for the first four steps. So we just get one large trigger at the start of the cycle. The correct approach is to multiply the conditional by the clock, and that gives us the appropriate gate signal. To shift this cluster of notes to a later beat, we can subtract a value from step, modulo by total steps to wrap back to the correct range. Modulo values that don't evenly divide the cycle create polyrhythms, so here's a new layer. Step minus two mod three will be less than one on beats two, five, eight, 11, and 14. So sort of a clave style rhythm. I'll paste in a synthesized kick. And we've got ourselves a nice little trance beat. Finally, here's an example that combines pulse divider and stepper, basically merging previous examples and adding some variations. Pause and study, if you like, sounds like this. Many more ideas left unexplored. I hope this gives you some fun ideas to play with. Shout out to my patrons. Huge thanks to all of you for the support. Really appreciate it. If you're new and you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hope you consider becoming a patron yourself. Thanks for watching. See you next time.